copper almost 20 years ago. I was at art school and making copper prints when I suddenly realized how much more amazing the actual copper plate was than the prints it resulted in. It was alive, it changed, it was affected by my touch and by the environment and I just couldn't let it go. Since then I've been working with copper, bronze and brass. I've been adding my own chemicals to both etch the metals but also to create different colors. I don't use pigments or any kind of paint on the metal. All the colors you see are results of long, long patination processes, a lot of which fail but it's, it's worth it when they succeed. I'd like to be able to predict it all, but I can't. Uh, as a bonus, that does mean that there are new discoveries along the way. Portraits fascinate me. Over the years, I've created a great number of them. Some of them using thousands of individually patinated squares of bronze pieced together to create something that up close is really abstract whereas at a distance it becomes almost photographic. In recent years, my portraits have started to include much more of a context. I use different elements relating to the person being portrayed. Texts that in some way either are written by the person or, or mean a lot to them. Portraits are such a special kind of artwork. When I create them, I need to not only get the likeness in there, but a person's character. There has to be so much feeling in it. Creating the Joseph Brockdorf portrait was both a massive challenge and a huge inspiration. So much history, so many accomplishments, so much character to pour into this work of art. I created it using etched and patinated copper, bronze and brass. A number of chemicals have been used to get the exact patinas, and other chemicals used to etch deeply into the metal, sometimes etching all the way through it. The portrait itself is based on an old photograph, and has then been scratched by hand into a copper plate, after which it was etched very carefully in ferric chloride. The result is one that I hope Joseph Brockdorf himself would enjoy. of the Joseph Brockdorf portrait, I felt it was so important to get so much history in there, so much of his character, his accomplishments and achievements, and it was a great challenge but also a privilege to be able to delve into this. getting a feeling for him than just a, a portrait-like likeness. Um, the, there are sections of text, there is it's a very deep etching, in some cases etched all the way through, there are many layers, it is three-dimensional in many different ways, uh, concave and convex, 
The materials are copper, bronze and brass, all patinated and etched in different ways. There are no pigments, there is no uh, paint added in, in any way. One of the texts included in this portrait is actually written by Joseph Brockdorf himself about the company. It's etched quite deeply, so it's not entirely legible, but it felt important to me that it wasn't just a random text. This portrait is, I think, as far as you can get from traditional standard oil paintings. I feel that a traditional portrait would not have been him. He needed something that was innovative and different to do him justice. It's been a privilege to create a work of art for such a creative pioneer who turned what he did into an art.